estructura. Hello YouTube world, good to see ya. Well, I'm on another little photography trip today, not far from home, so um, why not join me and see where we end up and what we manage to photograph. Come on. <laughs> Everybody, how you doing? Hope you're all okay. Um, well, as you can see today, I've come somewhere slightly different. I'm at the local Heathland, or one of the local Heathlands nearby, and I spotted this probably about a year ago. And it looks like, I would say it's an air raid shelter. I was looking behind me, it doesn't look like it had a roof. So I think it's more of like a blast shelter. Because obviously down here on the south, we've got lots of things that would have been targeted in the war. You've got the, uh, the tank regiment, you've got the marines, you've got airfields around, you've got the harbour. So there have been lots of things which you know, the Germans would have probably wanted to try and destroy. 
and just over to my left there's some old MOD buildings and I think this shelter was probably part of one of those I think one nearest is demolished now and you know this would have been like if a bomb come it protects you from any shrapnel I guess but as you can see behind me it's all been demolished from that side but this this is all still here it's obviously covered in graffiti now it's just seems to be a thing these days cover everything in graffiti but that's quite interesting it's something different something unusual and to be honest this is my second time here I came here the other day and it was raining, it was a bit miserable. I got some photos from that day. I'm hoping to get some, some more today and I'm going to try a different lens today. One I bought probably about, well, when I first started photography. I don't even know why I bought it. It's such an unusual lens. But I'll tell you a bit more about that later on. So, yeah, I'm going to crack on. I'm going to get some more photos and uh, see how we get on. Well, I'm going to have to scrap the idea. What it was, I got a fisheye lens I bought years ago. I don't know why I bought it. And I've just tried it on the camera. And I don't know if it's because it wasn't... I've got the adapter, but it won't, the shutter won't go for some reason. So anyways, um, it works on the old 800D, so I might bring that down sometime and try it on there. But it's not working on the um, full frame on there, so I don't know why. Maybe it's just the connections on the adapter, because the, um, the Samyang is um, all manual, everything's manual on it. So I don't know, it's one of those things. Anyways, I'm trying a couple of different things, just trying to be a little bit more creative today. And, uh, and now it's raining, so I think I might have a coffee while it's raining, if it pass over. And then I'll crack back on. Okay, so I scrapped the, the whole fisheye thing. I can't get it to work for whatever reason. Maybe it's because it's um, not got the connections for the shutter on the adapter. I don't know. Anyway, so I've scrapped that. So I'm trying something else a bit different now. It's like a, a zoom effect. So what I've done, I've focused right on the far wall and then got a two second timer. And just as it's kind of just about to or just clicks into the two second timer I twist the zoom and then when it takes a picture it gives it that zoom effect like it's traveling moving and it's a bit of fun it's quite quite nice it makes this kind of shot maybe a little bit more interesting than just a standard click and shoot kind of shot so I'll take a few more of those try a few different things and uh, yeah, so what I do is I'll show you. So two second timer, and then just twist it. Oh, that wasn't very good that one. I'll try it again. So I'm on 70 mil, so I'm zoomed right in. Two second timer. That's better. So yeah, just before it clicks on the two second timer, just twist the zoom round, and it gives it that zoom effect so well, I'm sure you can probably do it in Photoshop but while I'm out in the field why not have a go try different things it's all about learning and experimenting so yeah I'm going to take a few more of those and uh, and then see what else we can get
Okay, from this bomb blast shelter here in Dorset, I'm going to wrap the video up and just say I've had a really nice time, really, really good to get out, back out with the camera, taking photographs, doing what I love doing, and uh, just kind of getting away from it all. So I've tried a few different things, just some normal kind of standard shots, I guess you'd call them, and then I did that zoom effect, and I've tried some from up the top there. I took some of the drone as well, so hopefully they'll come out as well. So a lot of different things, you know, different angles, um, sort of experimentation if you like. So, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video. And, um, yeah, so from me and Teddy, who is down there somewhere, um, just say thanks for watching, thanks for listening. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, that would be really good. You give me a good old thumbs up. And uh, just say take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon. Cheers. Bye. Thank you.